All right, so I came here today with my pickup, and I, my intention was just to grab boxes of yarn and stuff because I'm on like day three, not full days, but like day three of emptying this unit out. And I cleared, I cleared out all this, the stack, and I look through here. I don't know if you guys can see, and I'm pretty sure these are all games in the box. So. I had to run downstairs, grab my chest strap so we don't miss anything, but I was not planning on recording today. I literally just wanted to get clothes, yarn, all the nonsense out of here. I wasn't going to bother recording that because who wants to really watch me sift through hundreds of things of yarn? But we might have found the other row of games because like I said before, I have a lot of DS boxes without the games. I have a lot of um, 64 boxes without the games. And I have a lot of Nintendo Advanced boxes without the games. And as you can see, it says Nintendo games right on it. So this might be big right here. Hopefully, anyway. Okay. We got Super Nintendo games in here. I found one Super Nintendo game and I found the Super Nintendo, but I didn't find any of the games. Oh, wow. Is the game in here? Game? Why is it? Oh, wow. So, no instructions in this, but we got the game and the box. This is crazy, man. So, we got 64 games. I wonder why he kept everything in. He had the boxes in a shoe box. Let's see what all these are. Okay, these are the 64 games. So I have all the boxes for these. This is crazy. Absolute craziness. I cannot believe the level of commitment this guy had to keeping these games in boxes, this clean, this is like a once in a lifetime collection that I will never find again. I'm in like such disbelief about this. Let's keep that out here. So it's the box. This is such good timing because I have twins on the way and I really need the money. I saw some boxes. Oh, there are, I think there's boxes. Yeah, there are. Oh. I have the full box for this, like the big box. Let's angle this down. Oh, 
Well, we found the 64 games that we were looking for. Okay, he has two copies of this. Oh, oh my God. This is crazy. Oh my God. These are mint. Well, not really mint, but there's a little wear on the edges. But this is this is wild. Oh, oh, this one's really jacked up, but that's awesome. Also started collecting after Nintendo. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't find any Nintendo, like re regular Nintendo in here. Wow. Well, I can tell you this. I'm going to be sorting games until, like, right up until the babies are born. Because... I want to have a nice nostalgia trip while I'm doing this. See? Now, I know they say gambling is bad, but this gamble paid off. I went $1,000 over what I wanted to pay. More than a thousand with taxes and everything. It's just like thirty five hundred total. All right, guys, this is the biggest find in the unit as far as I'm concerned, other than the Pokemon, of course. These are all complete in the box. I found the boxes in a shoe box, which I'll show you a little clip of. And then uh, obviously from the video, we found the games with the manuals in hard plastic cases. I sold five games already online <clears throat> on eBay. I sold Rayman 2, Smash Brothers, Mario Party, um, Chameleon Twist, and of course I can't remember the last one, but I will put little pictures on the screen of the sold listings, but this is what I have left. So let's show these. These are also, for the most part, in beautiful shape. You can see these are a little jacked up. But uh, we got some heavy hitter games in here, and they are mint. Well, South Park action. I remember this game being hysterical when I was a kid. But he had a very large collection of these. I didn't realize that the amount of games for 64 was not that big. This is a big boy box. This does not have the transfer pack in it, unfortunately. That's another big box. Crease on the edge there. And we, of course, have the NASCAR and the fishing. We got Perfect Dark. Nukem. Another classic. He 
get two copies of Rage Wars. This one is all messed up. Um, I don't know why he had two copies, but whatever. I'll just show you the other copy. It's in better shape. Let's get these out of the way. And this is not all the games. Well, this is all the 64 games, but not all the games that I have to show you. So after I get done with these, I have some other really cool stuff. And I also have um, about 20 games that don't have boxes. I thought that I would uh, maybe find another shoe box filled with boxes in the storage unit, but I did not, unfortunately. This does not have the instructions. So I have about 20 loose games that I'll show. To rock. I didn't really play games like this when I was a kid, so I don't know anything about these games. This actually just sold on eBay but I told them I had to make a video with it first. So I'll put that to the side because I have to pack that up and ship it out. Now two of the fun ones. You can see there's two creases here and a little something going on here, but what a great game this was. And then we have Majora's Mask. This is in really good shape. Blues Brothers. Keep getting alerts on my phone while I'm trying to do this because we had just had an earthquake in New York. Well, New Jersey, but the we felt it in New York, which is pretty random. So if you hear any dinging on my phone, that's what it is. All right, now let me grab the loose games and show you those. All right, I forgot one of the box games. We also had Pokemon Snap. Um, I'm not going to open up all the cases to these. You can see it through the case, but <clears throat> these are all the loose games with manuals. If you guys see any like rare versions that I don't notice, like not for resale, just leave it in the comments. Tell me what you guys think. Maybe it'll save me some time from having to look stuff up when I list it. And another Turok. Turok 2. This doesn't have the manual. Quite the Nintendo collector this guy was. And PlayStation 1. Madden, Star Fox, Gex, and now we got the really fun stuff. One second, let me put it on the table. All right, this is the last of it. Obviously, Super Nintendo. These are all boxed. These are complete, actually. Um, these have no boxes, obviously. Some of these are in terrible condition. They're really old. 
but I have not seen a box Super Nintendo game in a very long time. So, like, they, they all have damage. They just do. None of them are great. But still cool pieces. Not a lot of them are worth a lot of money, but, again, it's for nostalgia, really. But I opened this box and I saw the Super Nintendo in there and I nearly passed out. I couldn't believe it. In the back of the unit, I did find, like right in the back of the unit, there's one of them really old TV stands that we all had as kids. Well, if you're born in like the 80s. Um, everybody had this TV stand on wheels. And inside of it, I found an, a, an NES. And um, I was shocked by that. It had a game in it. I didn't find anything in this entire unit other than Nintendo Powers to even give me an inkling that this guy collected regular Nintendo. So I don't know what happened to all those games. There's no way that I missed Nintendo games. I might have, as I said in the other video, I might have donated a box with books in it that might, might have had a binder of DS games shoved in the side of it. I don't think that is what happened because I did open the majority of them, but it could have, but there's no way that I missed Nintendo games. And this one, I saw this, and for some reason, I thought that Donkey Kong Country 2 was, like, super rare. So I saw that it was boxed, and I got really excited, and it wasn't. So I don't know what I'm thinking of. Is there, like, a Diddy Kong game that's worth a lot of money? Uh, if you guys know, leave a comment, because I can't figure out what I was thinking of, but it's not worth a ton of money. I mean, it's worth money, but nothing crazy. I thought it was, like, a super rare game. I thought I was going to hit the jackpot on that one. These are the loose games, but everything will be on the eBay store if you guys want to check it out. And that is it. I appreciate you guys for watching the series. Hope it was as fun for you as it was for me because this was a serious nostalgia kick. So like, subscribe. Hopefully I'll find another one like this. Thanks for watching, guys.